Hello and welcome to another edition of ExpressionWeb.us. Uh, today we're going to show you how to spice up your website with um, by adding a gradient fill uh, to your background. And um, so this is just a basic template website here, uh, just straight out of the box uh, template website. But you notice the background here; it's kind of boring and it doesn't look very exciting. And uh, it doesn't take that much to spice this up and add a gradient fill. And what I mean by that is adding this, uh, a gradient fill to the background, which, as you can see, it makes the container pop more, and it looks a lot more interesting and modern and just generally cooler, I think. So it's not that hard to do, and I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, the one thing is that it does require you to have a graphics program there's a lot of graphic programs out there there's a lot of different ways you can do this I just I'm just showing you how to you do this with uh, Photoshop elements because this is a fairly cheap program <laughs> I think it's like 60 bucks or something like that versus the full version of Photoshop which is obscenely expensive so anyway uh, you go into Photoshop and this is the first part of uh, doing the gradient fill and like I said you can probably create this GIF file. You're going to use a GIF file to create the background, but you can probably do it in any, basically any graphics program can do this, but like I said, I'm just using Photoshop Elements. So you go to File, New, Blank File. And here's the part that seems weird. Uh, when you're setting the, you know, you can call this, we can call this, uh, let's call this Gradient 2. Uh, when you're setting the width, you know, believe it or not, you just set it to one pixel. And then the height, you know, you can vary this uh, as long as you want the, the height of the, the length, the height length of your website to be. But I think you're pretty safe with using 1200 pixels. The resolution is 72. Uh, color mode, you can, you know, RGB and background contents, you can be transparent. And then you just go OK. Then uh, it pulls up this. The weird thing about this is that it's so, it's only one pixel, so it's... <laughs> pretty hard to see so you can um, magnify this a little bit if you want um, but I you can do it in this size if you want actually it's helpful to see the whole length of it but um, and then what you do is you just set your background colors like this is your foreground color right so you just click here and you know we just have it set to black you could choose any color you wanted like blue or whatever but um, just keep it black Okay, black, and then you use this to set the background color. And of course, we have it set to white, but you can make it red, you know, pink, yellow, any color of the rainbow basically you want. Just have it set to white, and you go OK. And so there, you can see it's set over here. So the foreground is black. And then basically, all you got to do is you come up here and you set your, uh, you know, the type of gradient that you want. And this one's good enough for us. And then uh, you come over here uh, where the gradient is, the gradient tool is. You just click on that. And then you come over here and you see where the crosshairs changes. You drag, you drag it the length of the, let's see, some, uh, the length of the, the file or whatever. Um, that didn't quite work out, so let's, let me undo gradient, undo that. I don't know what happened. It seemed to be moving. Let's see, park it there. And you drag it. Like I said, it's so narrow, you don't have that much. Cause you really want to drag it the whole length of the thing, right? So it doesn't even all fit in there. Kind of awkward. But then you see it goes from dark uh, to white, right? Like that. And then what you do is you go File, uh, Save for Web, not Save As, and then it'll po it'll pop up this screen. And you want to be sure that you're saving it as a GIF file, not as JPEG. You, know, you have transparency checked. And like I said, you can play around with all of this. And so we're just going to save this as uh, a GIF file. And then we just go OK. And we're going to just save it into a f folder here. We'll just have this desktop. It's an old folder. And just go save. Save it as gradient 2. And then we're basically done. So what we've done is we've created a GIF file that's one pixel wide and 1,200 pixels long. 
or they call it height in this program. So now we're done with that. So now what we do is uh, we're going to go into Expression Web and uh, we're going to go File, uh, New, Website. I should mention we're using uh, Expression Web 2 here. Uh, actually, I'm kind of liking Expression Web 2 better than Expression Web 4 <laughs> lately. <laughs> but um, if you can do it on 2, you can do it on 4, you know. Um, but uh, it's, you click Templates. Uh, and then let's go to this. This is the one we were using, right? So we're just going to call this gradient to, it doesn't really matter what folder you put it in. Go OK. And then we double click on default, and here's the website. Let's click F12 on our keyboard just to see what it looks like. There it is, they're boring, right, with that background. So I'm just going to minimize that. Now what we do is let's go into, let's go into our master uh, DWT file and let's see what style sheet we're linking to. So you look up here and it shows that we're linking to the style sheet um, 0 and we go over here to the styles folder and there there it is right there that's the style sheet. So this style sheet is basically controlling the look and layout of the website so um, which would also include the background. So we double click on this and then we come up here to where it says body and this is what we're we're looking for. So what we do now is we come over here to the manage styles tab. And uh, if you click here, if you if you come over here and you click in this section, it actually highlights highlights it over here. And so actually this gray circle around that blue dot means the style is active on the page. And if you roll your cursor over the tag, it says it again says what it's what instructions, CSS instructions are are being sent to the web page, you know. So what we want to do is come over here on, on the Manage Styles tab where it says Body, and then you want to right click it and go up here to where it says Modify Style. Come up there, and um, one trick up here is that if a category is bolded, that means there are active instructions uh, in that category. If it's if it's just normal font, the normal font, regular font, that means there's no relevant instructions. There's no instructions being told to the web page from here. So as we can see, background is lit up, is bolded, so we know that there's instruction going to the uh, web page. So we click on that, and then uh, up here you see that's the back, the boring background color. Now what we want to do is just get that GIF file that we just made. So what we do is uh, we come over here to browse. And uh, I got to go look for it now. Uh, it was in this folder here, and there it is. And we go open it, and uh, we're just gonna. What it's gonna do? It's gonna automatically, by default, repeat across the page. So what it does is it take that takes that one pixel image and it repeats it across the page to make a gradient. It's pretty slick actually. <laughs> so you go OK. We click OK, and then we're gonna go. Uh, so, and you can see it's been added to the instruction in the body tag here. So we're just going to go save. It's going to want to embed the file now, bring it into the website folder. We're going to go OK. Now we'll come back to uh, default. Now let's uh, hit F12 and see what happened. Yeah, see? Now that's a lot, that's a lot slicker than what it was, right? So what you can do is you can play around with these uh, GIF files in a graphics program and then import them into Expression Web and turn a template uh, into a pretty cool looking site. I mean, you basically, these templates, you know, I know they look kind of rubber stamped or whatever, but, you know, really they're blank canvases in a sense. Really what they're doing is they're just giving you uh, a general layout to play with and then you can just go in and swap out everything. So it's like, you know, it's just saving you the headache of laying something out. So it's like, you know, calling in somebody else to lay the foundation and then you come in and build your own house. It's like, so you don't have to do everything all over again. So it's like, a lot of this stuff, you know, why would you want to rebuild it if you didn't have to? So, anyway, that's how you add a gradient fill uh, and make your template look a lot cooler. Um, this is what it looked like before, right? So, boring, right? <laughs> and this is a lot better, so. Anyway, Thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. And, you know, we really do appreciate everyone for subscribing and all the positive comments. Have a great day.